people are using him now. Like, for example, Fly, I don't think got an Aghanims in one of the games at all. Like, he just, no, he did. He got one. He, he, he got no, I said in one of them, he didn't yes. get it. As yes, in, they was. played two games, and, and one of them, one. he didn't have it, and they still won. Yep. So, yeah. that's what I mean. It's like, it doesn't make or break Ten the hero, but it makes people remaining. notice it. All right. Um, just going back to the draft, I think Nyx Assassin Five is a really, really remaining. great pickup. Uh, Shane, you were talking about picking up to counter the Coddle. You know, when you see a Luminate Reserve coming, time. you just tank it. Mana Burn's gonna counteract. Also, Mana Burn's really great against Dark Sir. Being an Intelligence Hero, he does have a fairly nice ink growth, but his mana or his spells cost a ton of mana. So if you stick one or two Mana Burn on him, he actually can't cast uh, not only his spell, but ideally like Mex Shivas and whatever remaining. else. So yeah. uh, Nyx is a great pickup, and I imagine Animal Bulldog will be playing that. Five seconds remaining. Um, I'm assuming pretty much the same. Uh, Fnatic, Alliance we're actually gonna go with a Morphling here, pick. which I do like. Because if you look at Alliance right now, we talked about the tree and Rubik, like when it was just two picks in, that it's it's still a decent amount of damage output because of the tree. But when you add a Nyx into it, Nyx is more of a team fight disruption hero than he Fnatic's is like pure damage. Like so your Vendetta and your Impale Mana Burn do some damage, but they need someone else that can actually like finish the job. And a Magnus is a pretty decent hero for that. Skewer and Shockwave both do pretty decent amounts of damage as well. And it also gives them more team fight control, which it feels like they're favoring Ten a bit more. Remain. I wouldn't even be surprised to see something crazy like a PA here. Alliances because if you look at Fnatic, not bang. a lot of hard lockdown, right? Sure. It's like yeah. you have Earthshaker and a Mana Leak. I mean, there are things like Blinding Light and Surge would m make a, perhaps a melee carry a little bit annoying. We, PA has like PA the best could stay, chase. Yeah, yeah, she could stick on people quite well. Ten but seconds, I just want to say, this draft looks like TI3. You know, yeah. Yeah. you see Magnus mid, Tree and Protector, Five the Morphling making remaining. a comeback, but obviously teams have innovated a lot since then. How do you feel about S4, Reserve who time. I guess arguably is the best Magnus? I don't know, Resolution's really well. given him some stiff Yeah, that's true, map. that's true. We'll see how S4 play it. Although I will say that S4 is one of the only mag players who I've seen actively turn their RPs, which Fanatics means like when you RP, it brings them to the point in front of you, mm -hmm. right? And he's one of the few players who will actually like blink in, stop, turn, turn then system. RP, and then skewer. Yeah, that's actually a big deal in terms of saving you a lot of time uh, yeah. during that RP duration for your teammate to do the damage. Small things like that really makes a big difference in a, a close fight. They picked Morphling into Nyx Assassin. Like, I don't think it's that bad. The mana burn, I think, annihilates him. I mean, the thing is, who do you mana burn? There's so many viable mana burn targets. Ten I mean, in the late game, you would pretty much always mana burn the Morphling, yeah. more or less, unless you were, like, trying to stop a blink Five from, like, ES or remaining. something like that. Mm -hmm. And, oh. I mean, having an Earthshaker against the Nyx is also kind of annoying, because we talked about the Reserve carapace yesterday. Time. I think we saw this matchup yesterday, right? Yes. Yep. Because uh, No-Tail ended up getting a BKB. Oh, and, whoa, fanatic! Alliances we're going to go Husker. Okay, good luck okay. killing that hero. And this is Huskar solo mid against Magnus. Good, good luck killing be. that good luck hero. Luck Go All right. Yeah. What, the, what would Toby say? What? Yeah. What would Toby say? Yeah. Called it. Called it? Because you didn't say PA? Oh, yeah, yeah I did say PA, but right. it's like, whatever. Okay, you're not a wicked. It was pretty All right, obvious. Guys. All right, we're going to have a PA. And uh, we're going to see defensive trialing versus defensive trialing, right? Like, uh, we're not... Are we really? I think it could be aggressive. Fnatic could be aggressive. It, I think yeah. aggressive Charlene actually smashes Alliance's lane. So you, yeah. you go Huskar, Earthshaker, Keeper of Light. Why not? And, and just you can go test range. the pole super easily. Sure. Or you could go Morphling, Earthshaker, Keeper of Light. Why not? No, well, Hani's playing the Morphling. Oh, Hani's so. playing the Morphling? Yeah. Okay. So mm. we, we actually know, like... <laughs> Cheaters. Yeah. <laughs> we, got the, we got the hacks. But I want to talk about the Husker PA matchup because it's really interesting. It's like you have 50% evasion once you get to that level in the game, right? So like mid-teens-ish. And then Husker re relies more or less Five on burning remaining. spear for the majority of the game. Until at the very least, he gets an MKB. Life break still hurts a lot, for sure. Mm -hmm. But I think we can say with some confidence that the PA is probably going to get a BKB Prepare at some stage. Battle. He'll probably do what Envy did yesterday, which is not buy a BKB first, but buy it after his first item is yeah. already done. So that way you actually become like a significant threat during the mid game. Now the skill build wise for PA, do you think he'll max blur second, like what MV did yesterday, or you we see uh, maybe a little bit more blink strike today? I think it kind of depends on the style that your team is playing, because if you're not going to be fighting, there's not really a, a huge reason to max blink strike, mm -hmm. and you can just have a higher amount of HP. Because MV didn't go life steal yesterday until after he had BKB and Battle right. Fury. 
Dude, and I think... actually, I think he made another item on top of that before he got loose steel, didn't he? I think he got an MKB first. No, 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 he a, got a, a battle. Of... Abyssal. He got Abyssal, Abyssal. yeah, Basher yeah. and Abyssal. And he didn't have life steal that. Well, the, the game so... was over by that point. It right, just, but yeah. the point I'm making is that if you have 50% evasion and like a battle seconds. fury, you don't actually need life steal to stay high HP when you're farming. Okay, fair enough. But I think this game, maxing blur might be a great idea, especially against the Huskar, who yep. is. That's what I'm saying. Like and, he would. Yeah, yeah. I think PA annihilates Huskar late game. Like, late game, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Unless the Husker gets over farmed. Like, if the Husker gets an MKB and, like, has a decent amount of items, yeah. then I think it's going to go pretty well for Alliance. Also, important to keep in mind that if the PA does go BKB, and power is not going to work, so maybe he'll go for, like, a, a drums build begins. and try to play, like, maybe without the BKB. Mm -hmm. It is possible. It would be tough, though, against Fnatic now. Because before they picked Husker and Morphling, it's like, yeah, the PA is not really going to have too hard of a time against these heroes, but life break and wave farm are still a significant enough burst to make a hero like PA feel kind of squishy. So we'll see. Yeah, in the past, uh, PA for Alliance at least was always pick alongside w a Wisp, and you definitely need the additional damage output that a Wisp grants you, as well as the survivability. So we'll see how it plays without the Wisp. And uh, the lane's gonna be actually a Dark Seer plus Keeper of Light. Meanwhile, you see no tail on the top lane doing the same thing that I've been doing yesterday. Just okay, cutting just the trees. Like, I just want to mention this. Ake okay, next level that safe lane. Because the range creep was so far in front yeah, yeah. that the range creep would have died first and pushed the wave out, but Ake okay, just stood there tanked and tanked it, it so yeah. it didn't walk down. Like people probably are like, why is he just standing there? But he actually stood there for a very good reason. Beautiful. What a player. One thing that Alliance don't do is they don't actually buy sentry wards at the start of the game very often, unless they have like a jungler. So they're like so greedy on their supports. Yeah, but I mean, the supports right now are enough to zone out Trixie and Fly, right? Like these two heroes, especially Fly, if he gets caught, it's going to be a most guaranteed kill. And Trixie mm -hmm. would be forced into leveling level one surge because Ake does have leap seed. Right. Oh, he does have Iron Shot now, so no, no take backs on that level up. Yeah, okay. So he actually can't go to the wave. Yeah. Um, and with that said, with Keeper of Light being here, he's also forcing the two supports here. Like, I, I don't think normally a Rubik by himself is on our darks here. Although that could be pretty close. Look at that weapon on S4, what the hell? Yeah, That's it's awesome. the new set. Weapas gave it to me. Or no, it was you, Lumi, actually. Yeah, one of my viewers gave it to me and I gave it to you. For a price. So much For sharing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it wasn't actually sharing yet. He ripped had to me off. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Everything's fine. Well, Admiral Bulldog gonna get spotted out here. No tail season, but Era is nowhere to be found. So, Nyx's Actually, base HP rent. Regen, look at that. Three points. Why is coming in here? If there's a Luna, oh, they can't kill him. Okay, well, I mean, Unless... it's a little bit body block. Yeah, block. Major? yeah that's gonna hit. Okay, okay. well, <laughs> I just got trapped out. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's fine. I don't think Hottie's gonna rotate up top. Nah, definitely not. Trixie's going to the jungle, though. Yeah, he has to. I mean, he can't go to the wave until he gets to level two. And even then, if he gets a Surge off and EGM is close enough to be able to lift when the Surge is cast, he still dies. So I would say that's a big win for Alliance. They essentially forced two people off the lane, right? Since uh, Keeper of Light started there. Meanwhile, now we're going to see EGM rotate to the top to help things out. I think having EGM here is a great assurance. He's actually fairly decent as a defensive support. Uh, but hold that thought, because we might see a gank on the mid lane. Maybe. It's really hard to kill Morphling, man. Like, you would have to lift Skewer, like, over the river, and even then, I don't think you would kill him. He yeah. would probably just wave for him out and be fine. And more top lane Fissure, that's gonna hit an Admiral Bulldog. He does have Spike as well as a Burning two points of Sun. Yep. Uh -oh. Burning Spear is running him down. Well, that lead, Living Armor is getting cancelled instantly. Illuminate's gonna fly in. Impale will hit onto two, though, but he's quite low. Burning Spear slowly oh, draining him. his HP. Um, One more hit from the high ground? No, not long Oscar's enough. attack range is pretty small. Yeah. So. You think Tron, that's where you get a brief fire, like? You try to throw a spear before, man. It's yeah. tough. Look at him. Look at him. He's buff, man. Yeah, he's he is kind of ripped. All right. So during the early game, it's PA farming for Husker. I think Fnatic, if it goes ultra late, like Husker and Morphling together, should be able to like deal with the PA. But then you also have to keep in mind S4 is going to have RPs. You're going to have overgrowth that you have to worry about too, which is actually extremely annoying for heroes that would want to go like quick BKBs because you just wait the BKB out and you're gonna have to use it, yeah. right? And then you just overgrow it and you're like, well, shit. And let's not forget about the farming power of this PA because not only is she gonna, you know, farm quite quickly with Blink Strike, there's also Empower Online. So we haven't really seen this melee combo of Magnus plus a melee carry lately, but it's running rampant since TI3 and it was always quite effective. 
Yeah, I think he might actually just go Battle Fury in this case. Because it's not really that hard for Alliance to delay. They have a decent amount of wave spam. You have like Fade Bolt, you have Shock Wave from the Mag. You can just tree armor towers. They should be able to turtle it out fairly well. And I don't think that turtling is going to necessarily be detrimental to either team. Like they both have their strengths, yeah. right? It's going to be down to whoever plays well and gets like the most out of their farm. It which looks right like now Alliance might be getting. Loda is actually going to go for a Ring of Aquila. So oh, looks like we're going to see a lift. I don't think we're going to see oh, this kill. No. Okay. Almost. Yeah. He couldn't see what his boy was wrong. So a Ring of Aqua on PA is fairly interesting because it doesn't build into a Battle Fury, which is normally the item you want to go into, no. but early game stats is never bad. The modern regen is very welcome as well, so we'll see. Maybe it's an early game fighting build coming yeah, up like from Loda. Trade, it could be. Like yeah. phase, lads. Uh, if you think about it, fighting before the Husker gets life break and before the Earthshaker starts getting levels because Yes, is still good in lane if you can block, but until that point, like between then and the late game where he gets a blink or a mid game even, oh. he doesn't really do much. Yeah, the blinking on Trixie on the bot lane, but there's no cycling dagger. There is a cycling dagger, but TP already came in from flight. They could actually go and fly instead, but now they'll, they'll back off. So we see lanes resuming since uh, minute one. Nope. Oh, nice block. Okay. Oh, I have a Bulldog though, he, he's got Living Armor from afar, but again, that Living Armor not going to do too much since the Flaming Spheres are burning it down. Six stacks, look at that damage! Z? He yeah. might be dead. Yeah, I is. think so, oh. it's going to be close, he needs no. one more attack, he's going to gain the Jesus. movement speed. Oh, the stun's going to hit! Oh, stop shields! <laughs> okay, two stop shield proc. If it would have been three, I think he would have died to the Huskar, but well played. Uh, drawing Huskar off the lane, but I guess No-Tail is getting the farm. How oh, hilarious would it have been if he just stout shielded every attack yeah, and yeah. an area killed him? That was close, though. That Quelling Blade is definitely value. Like, I think we saw it yesterday in the safe lane when No-Tail played it, and then today in the safe lane, and No-Tail's doing the same thing. <laughs> he just puts himself in such a position that he can just throw it all the way across the lane every single time. Yeah. saw Fly getting it on uh, Cull as well yeah. yesterday. So the big difference here between the early game of these two teams is that the off lane for Alliance is getting significantly less farm than what Trixie is able to get, right? Because Trixie can just go to the jungle, Fly can stack the jungle. So I think Fnatic's team is maybe a little bit more efficient in terms of what their early game has to offer. They're doing double pulling on the side of Alliance, but this isn't, like, you're not farming as fast, right? Like, you cannot farm a Coddle Darkseer as these two supports. No. So they're doing the best job that they can do. Yeah, they, they're trying to keep up. With that said, once uh, Admiral Bulldog turns level 6, the lane on the top frees up. He's going to be looking to gank, uh, perhaps the support. Oh, but it looks like we're going to see a gank coming in. He has an Iron Shell, he has a Surge. He's going to just take this entire stack. I mean, I think this is actually a lot oh, better than that's so much yeah. money. They're, they'll just back off. I mean, if they get a support kill, they get a support kill. But here comes Skewer. No, Strength Morph is going to be fine. And now Trixie goes north. I think even if that hit, it would have been pretty hard to get a kill. Like, RP doesn't do that much damage. Top lane. And my Bulldog making well usage of his spike purpose. Delaying his kill. He's doing really well up here, considering how much he's had to deal with. He's level 5, like. Yeah, I mean, experience-wise, he's doing well, but I'm just talking in terms of, like, pure gold. Like, how much oh. Fnatic can, like, farm as comparison to how much that makes can farm, mm. which is not a lot. No, it's a sad day. Yeah. And honestly, Nyx really just care about getting six, right? Like, Loda's, like... I don't think Loda's missed a creep, actually. That he's, sounds like Loda. He's 52 and 15 right now. And in comparison, the Husker is 36. Now, granted, Era has been running around chasing. And speaking of, Bulldog, he pops the Carapace. Hani doesn't attack into it. Impale's going to hit on two. Trixie's here as well. Could surge, but he's going to decide not to. And Hani's going to be forced away. Yeah, Rune's going to spawn on bottom. Looks like uh, Dyer's bottom tower. It will secure that for his team. Meanwhile, Loda's just applying pressure, Dyer's which is something that Huskar is not doing. Let's not talk about Huskar. Uh, he's going to be going for a quick armlet. Armlet into lifesteal is going to be his build, you think? Who, for Husker? Yes. Um, yeah, Armlet's still an extremely good item. Like, it's cost efficient, right? For any strength hero. It's pretty yeah. much Dyer's the best item for damage in the game for yep. strength hero in terms of cost, so. And then Lifesteal afterwards? The Lightning Lord. Or do you, yeah. Uh, I would. I think Lifesteal is probably the right choice. Okay. Because if you get Lifesteal, then it means you can do Roche. Like, Husker is one of those heroes in pub games. I'm sure many people have played against it. He gets to like level 11 or 12 and he can just kill Roshan. But a mask of that. Yeah. So it's it's actually pretty hard to stop as well because he can be one of the only ones in the pit. Yeah, by himself. Yeah. And then the rest of the team protect you. If you get a Dominator, so you can get the Wolf Creep. So Good. would you say based on what we see so far in the draft, uh, it comes down to how quickly Alliance farms before Fnatic hits a critical breaking point of 
you know, a four slot morphling with a shotgun? No, um, or is it something else? Lotus is on Midas. I yeah. like it. It's a fairly late Midas as yeah. well. We got this. Well, I don't want to say late because he's actually farming very well. It's just that he decided not to buy it like straight up. Mm -hmm. Like he bought the Aquila first. So the timing is still going to be a little bit late. And I think they just decided that they want to be a bit more efficient because I, I think they realized that Fnatic farm wise, like Trixie's got 29 CS. Bulldog has like what? Less than five? Oh, he has five. Yeah. So the mech is going to be up much sooner on Fnatic than Alliance are going to have, which means that Fnatic are going to be fighting sooner. But Alliance do also have a team that isn't scared to take engagements. Yeah, and I also think that the attack speed does sizably increase fan, uh, PA's damage output, especially when you put it in power on top. Like, she could just go in right now and, and get a couple of easy kill on Trixie if there's a l lucky cookie ground. Mid lane here. Ammo Bulldog dropping low. He's level 6, but critically, he's going to find any targets to gank. Fly would be one if he finds yeah, is pretty much the only one. And even then, if, if Fly is at like a high amount of HP, I don't think he can solo kill him. No. So, passive early game, who does this favor? The, the PA that just picked up the Midas, the Morphling that needs a lot of farm, Huskar that should be doing a lot but isn't. Well, if nothing happens, I think it favors Alliance. But if Fnatic are fighting, oh, nice block on S4. Okay. Oh, skewer pass, one hit away, and here comes a living armor. He's gonna survive. Thanks to his bottle region as well. Yeah, he got armored as well when the shockwave, like yeah. as the cuddle blast was hitting, even. Still no first blood. No, there is first one. No. Well, I mean, technically Bulldog died, but he died to neutral, so yeah, it wasn't yeah. first blood. Radiance bottom tower. Is I mean, under if you look attack. at Fnatic, they have a lot of way to cancel that living armor with the spear as well. Fissure, waveform, and. No. Okay, carapace. Mm -hmm. Ran back. Good skill. No, yeah, I didn't shot. I thought he was gonna just strength morph and just walk next to him, just tank it up. That'd be next level. Yeah. Although morphling is like tied for one of the slowest heroes in the game. So hey man, you, you got Surge. Yeah, it's true. All right, armlet is finished. So when you Chicago armlet on as a strength hero, was it plus 60 damage for 2400 gold-ish? Something like that. Yeah. It's an item that, interestingly enough, isn't picked up that much anymore. But it's still very good. People just stop buying it because the toggle doesn't instantly give you the survivability anymore. <laughs> Like, that was patches ago that it used to do that. Well, but. I mean, whenever strength carries are picked, it's always bought, right? I guess the only exception was yesterday's game on Night Stalker. Hey, man, I've even seen it on Tiny. Uh, I guess. Arkeezy bought Tiny's it on Tiny. That was pretty funny. But I think that game was kind of, like, weird. Clowny. Mm. Yeah. Clowny Dota. Dyer's bottom, bottom tower is under attack. Fly is just stacking. And it's younger than. The biggest concern that I have for Fnatic right now is that he is one of those heroes that, if left completely alone, can be a huge threat. We're going to see S4 take some damage here, but he's, he's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of... It, all it takes is one or two engagements where the PA just gets crits, right? Yeah. And you have Empower on them, and you just pick off one or two heroes straight away. And then Alliance are going to be able to just run the fight over, because their chasing potential is actually quite high. The Mag will have a blink. Mobility on PA is very good at pretty much all stages of the game. So... When they get something, they're going to be able to take quite a lot. I, yeah. also, I prefer Alliance's team for base defending as well. Because you have like 4P on top of Nyx, on top of 3M Protector with your BKBs. I uh, mean, on the other side, we saw the power of uh, well, Lightning yeah. Light, Fissure. Yeah, their counter pushes, yeah. like, but I'm talking like fighting. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, we're going to see a surge on Huskar. He's going to try to run past, but here's a rotation coming. EGM has to more if he's going to get jumped, and that's going to be first, but Trixie will draw thanks to the Iron Shell. And he'll get the tier 1 tower attack. as a result. Radiant Are we getting any trades on elsewhere on the map? No, there's nothing. In fact, it's going to be a Fnatic TP on bottom fly. Already oh, positioned to get the experience. No time. matter for Blast, though. He actually has for it. just bought his Blink Dagger. Okay, this could be a big RP yeah. up top. Here we go. Blink RP turns around Ooh. like Andy talked about earlier, but Strength more of us. Well, Huskar being very, very tanky and Fissure in the middle. That's going to be low. That dying in the beginning. No blur action for him. Ake throwing out a Leech Seed. Not going to do too much. A buyback, I think, being used. No, no just a no respawn attack. Blink, Shockwave, not doing anything. Yeah, the problem is when you go in as a solo mag and you RP a Husker, like and a Morphling, you're you're not killing him on your own, right? Like you need somebody else to be able to do damage. And Loda TP'd and he just fell over. Dyer's yeah. middle yeah. tower is under attack. Yeah, Loda's That's... gone for. Oh, we're gonna see more dive. <laughs> the jump Radiant's from Era and EGM straight attack. up dead. Done. The burst and the range of this combo is absolutely insane. Yeah, Husker's a legit hero, man. When you get low health on a Husker and you're a support. Do not be fooled. <laughs> you are not killing him. Run away. Don't play. Unless you're Bane. 
Yeah, Bane can. Yeah, Bane's just like Fiend's Omni Knight. Omni's middle tower is yeah. under uh, attack. Uh, no, didn't they change it? Radiance bottom tower. No, it's pure damage. It is pure damage. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, he can kill him too. Goes through the. Timber saw is good against Husker as well. Yeah. But it's one of those situations where if you're a Rubik or a tree, under no circumstances do you try to man fight that hero, because yeah. you will lose. Just want to say that whenever you pick Husker and Pubs, the other guy picks Omni Knight, he's like tower a sad boy. Because you actually can't do anything, man. No. Well, you, you dunk in, and then the guy gets his health all back yeah. from the heal, and then you lose even more health. Yeah. And, and then you, like, you, they guardian, oh. and you're like, well, life's hard. No, we're no, S4, no, going no. for the skewer, breaks no tail into tower range. Should be a free kill. He does get fissured. Ooh. They're going to go in as well onto uh, S4, but they can't really do anything. Well, now we can tell which uh, Earthshaker fissure belongs to which, because one does not have that. Oh, that's cool, actually, yeah. yeah. I mean, cool is one way to look at it, I guess. I don't know where you guys are standing in terms of like, should you be able to tell? Radiance Middle Tower. Is Which your under team should be able to tell, but the other team should, should not, not be, be able, able to tell. tell. Okay. It should work like illusions. Yeah. Dyer's bottom tower. I just tower want confusion to happen. It makes things more. Yeah, exciting. but you're confusing your own team. That's fine. How is that fine? Dyer's structure. <laughs> That dump, but the reverse on S4. S4 is trying to go kill my arrow. Like no, no problem. Oh, he, he doesn't get toggle. the kill. Why didn't he toggle? Yeah, he messed up the toggle. Well, I mean, he still got them both, but he didn't have to die there. I think No Tail, he's stunned, right, after this here, and he had time to toggle his armor. No, he's stunned before. Well, either way, I am disappointed, Aaron. Yeah. No, it did. It's hard to toggle the armor. It takes a while to build I, I think it's actually fairly easy to toggle against one hero attacking yeah, well, okay. you. Yeah, okay. You pretty much can't die to magic damage. I don't think he needed to toggle there. Like, No, he did. He looked like he had enough health. S4 had him power on. If Man, he hits him again. He he's... had Helm of Dominator, that plus armor. You're constantly losing HP, though, if the armlet stays on. And you're not out healing it with lifesteal. Yeah, you are. Don't worry at about it. At least not it. at this stage. Oh, you, has, has definitely not. speed and damage, man. No way, dude. Rune of Destiny coming in. We will never know. I think honestly, Fnatic could do Roshan very soon, like with Aeros Farm and his yeah. items. Yeah, like perhaps. an arm load enough, or alone is enough to kill Roshan actually. Like depending on just if you on get like own? super unlucky, yeah, because you can just toggle it whenever he hits you. True. I mean, if you get chain bashed, maybe you get super unlucky, but for the most part, you can just kill Roshan with these items. Yeah, maybe they're looking to destroy that tier one first to give himself a little bit more room. And honestly, they're at a very good stage where RP has just been used. The PA is not really online yet. You have a double damage to Ahani. The Phaser is really making. Ah, uh, their life really annoying though. Yeah. And oh, the Aaron is like going on. It's, it's a bit optimistic, safe. man. S4 could have like blink skewered him there, and he would have been dead probably. So since this Huskar is a hero that we don't see too, too often. Tower oh no. Has okay, been they denied. got the replicate. Okay. Got him. <laughs> How do you guys feel about Urn on Huskar? It's an item that we see a lot for like you know mass quick healing, or do you think if you're playing it as a one, it's a waste of an inventory slot? I think. I think so as well. What about like a mid husker? Mid husker, I think you could buy it. Yeah, it's like fudge. I think it's good on the mirrors. The problem with urn is it's like 875 gold that you're investing into an item that basically means you're going to be farming less and fighting more. So what's wrong with that? I mean, some heroes it's fine. Like, like again, if you're mid, it's okay, yeah. right? Because you plan to be more active and you're not necessarily getting farm priority. But for Era, who's going to be most of the time attacking creeps, this doesn't feel like a great choice. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've seen the power of Rubik coming into play with those uh, Fissure Steals, because I think if you have a Huskar that's that strong right now, an RP being down and a double damage on, Ru uh, on Morphling, you should be able to take a Tier 1 or the Roshan, and they have done neither. So I think these Fissures on the mid lane is uh, keeping Alliance in the game for now. But we're going to see a gank up top. It's going to be an offensive relocate coming in, but uh, Loda, he senses it. He backs off. I think anybody pushing in the off lane that far is gonna back. Look, man, I'm just giving the guy credit. Okay. <laughs> I'm just looking at where he was. I'm pretty sure he would have just backed anyway. It's fine. But see, he definitely dying. Pretty, pretty dead. S4 with the I'll skewer over your dead body. They want to fight this still. That's five mid right now. I mean, five mid not gonna push against Kato, right? Like, really, it really doesn't matter that there's five mid. You can blink skew him pretty Radiant's easily when he's bottom channeling him. Yeah, he's looking for it too. Oh no, he's gonna TP bottom. Maybe they want to try to kill Honey. Honey's a tough kill though, man. It depends on if you're getting crits. Yeah. 
Look pretty high. Lota does have Empower as well, and it's level 2 to your drop, so... It depends if he's gonna wait for him in. Here we go, they're gonna actually go on No-Tail. No-Tail saying so, he's already trying to run himself out of the blink. On oh. P, skewer backwards. Well, Honey's gonna be fine for sure. No-Tail, not so much. Trembling hits back out. He has waveform in two seconds. He's not using it just right now. He waveforms forward. Loda's gonna be right there, and he's gonna go right on Hani. But the man's gonna come through and he holds him up. Yeah, that was nice by Hani, though. He waited for the dagger, because you saw Loda in lane chasing, fortified. right? Yeah, but if he waveforms in front and Loda has dagger off cooldown, then he just gets daggered and dies. Yeah. So, waiting for the dagger on Trixie was the right call. I actually think that's a victory for Fnatic, though. Sure, they lost support, but it was a five-man rotation. You can see that arrow on the top lane is that tier two. Uh, and Keeper of Light was forcing the push on the mid lane. If they don't lose this tier two, Fnatic, I think, comes out ahead. We haven't talked about Hothgar with a PA dagger. It's actually like pure damage. Yeah, it, when it crits you, it still does full damage, which is pretty nice. But Radiance I still feel like, has at this stage, their farm is even, but Era has items to fight, and Loda has a Midas. Farming items, yeah. So, I mean, Lifesteal is still very good on PA, but he only has 900 HP. So, if he gets, like, dunked and fissured, he's pretty much dead. Waveform takes half his life. Like. Yeah. Jam got his hands on uh, the run fast ability, which is actually pretty good considering Ake is six now, so you can like surge the tree in for an overgrowth or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and like the Axir's uh, really poor cast point. You pose around them. Yeah, you, so just, you just cast it and it's instantly there, so pretty big deal. So I think right now if you're Fnatic, you just farm your Earthshaker, right? I think a Blink Dagger really increased their killing power or defensive yeah. power. He definitely needs it. M steals Fissure now. Man, Fissure is such a good spell on Rubik. Yeah, that's a big thing. Like, normally we, we talk about spells that are stolen, but Fissure is, like, one of the most disruptive skills in the game, mm -hmm. if used mm -hmm. properly. So it's important to note, like, when he has it. Is Lauda going for BKB with a Mithril Hammer? Uh, I would hope so, because you can't buy a Desso with a Dominator. So, I mean, I suppose he could, buy, he could buy Maelstrom, yeah. but I think it's probably going to be a BKB. It's weird though, I don't know why people do that by the Mitchell Hammer first. It's just because you have the money. And it, costs the, yeah, it costs more. Yeah. And it helps you farm faster if that's yeah. what you're caring for. True. And I mean, he got rid of his falling blade some time ago. Nero is just working on a tower. It doesn't really care. He should just actually still think. Era, by the way, had 35 I think, he hard. I think he really might just go straight hard. Dyer's Why not? Top got the bar in. The King of the Toggle, this one. The Vision's blocking everybody off. The blinding light that prevents them. Can we see a big vacuum? Back to one back. Overgrowth's gonna be there. Vision's gonna come through. Can they kill Ake? Ake's on the run. He's actually might go into invisibility. No, he does not have nature's guys. On the back line, it's gonna like blink RP. How does he still have RP available? Era, he's not gonna jump in for the dunk at least yet. We're gonna see Waveform coming on the side. Loda blinks in for one coup they grab, but not really dealing. There's nobody dying except from Fly. Everybody kittens. It's like the good studio. Nobody dying here. I hope nobody dies. What? Well, as Thor goes back in, gets a skewer on Era, but that is maybe not the target he wants to go on. The Fissure, though, stolen from AGM. Yes. The crit comes out from Loda, and they actually managed to get him. No Tail could be in some trouble, needs to be careful. Loda's own illusion critting him. Now Loda wants to go on No-Tail. The Echo Slam is there. Hani goes for the waveform. Loda almost dying. He gets a dagger crit though. And actually takes No-Tail with him. And ECM is going to be getting another kill this time on Trixie. Now they want to chase down Hani. Do they actually have the damage to take him? Here comes Fly. He should have another blind here if they continue pursuit. It's just AFK in middle. What is this? All mid? I think in that engagement, we see the power of Blink Strike allowing a very frail hero like Dyer's PA being able to dance around the fissures. Because essentially, there was like four or five fissures, right? Yeah. And it's so hard for a hero like Huskar, who I guess you could jump over them. He's, he's going Maelstrom. Yeah, it's a Maelstrom. <laughs> Loda's going Maelstrom. When you blink in... It's for the Burning Spears, man. Uh, actually, it, yeah. I mean, Burning Spear will proc it every single time, right? As much as possible. Yeah. You, don't, you just put it on whoever that's getting focus, I guess. Yeah. Next level, man. And Ion Shell as well. So somebody's like standing next to you and you have Ion Shell and Burning Spear, like, sure, you're gonna die really fast, but you're gonna you're gonna become Zeus. <laughs> Dyer's top tower Thor. is under attack. What an item. What do you feel like the reason was for Alliance winning that fight? Was it just a hero a little bit more mobile? EGM fishing. Like I think three it was people. Era having like the I'm invincible complex because if you saw the positioning that he had, like of course he's always gonna be in front because he's one of the hardest heroes to kill. Mm -hmm. But he was in such a way. Now, you have to imagine when somebody blinks in and pulls you out of range, it's like a Batrider. 
play. Like, that's basically what S4 is acting as, because you get skewered so far away from your team that they can't help you. <laughs> and EGM had Fissure the whole time. Like, he never stole another spell. So... Yeah, and not only did EGM uh, Fissure the Huskar, he Fissure off the entire enemy team. Something that and we the talked about. As well. Yeah, No-Tail doing yesterday. Uh, so... And I think um, the dagger crit basically ensured that No-Tail died. That was a regular dagger. I think he lives. And when Era got skewered back in, Loda did get a crit, which is good. Yeah. Well played. Well played. So lucky crits coming. He clicked that crit so hard. Four. Uh, it's very interesting that now Loda is actually going back for a BKB. Uh, I think a Maelstrom is actually a very good item for the cost in terms of what kind of damage you get out of it, especially since they changed how it at procs now. Mm -hmm. So you can, before Blink Strike, you attack so fast that you would actually be able to hit while the Maelstrom was on cooldown, which made it a worse item. But now it actually can just proc multiple okay. times. Yep. Now the, the interaction that... Oh, I'll Satanic, okay. I thought he was going to go hard, but he went Satanic. Essentially the same thing, right? The reverb being the big Yeah, but I here. think hard in a way is actually better because there's a lot of times where Aerith is just not going to be able to hit anybody. And you just want the raw HP as opposed yeah, to Yeah, and you just want to be able to live. Okay. Hmm. If he ever gets like one attack off, he's like full HP. Because... Well, he no. attacks so fast. Yeah. 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 So you mean he doesn't get multiple attacks. multiple attacks. Okay. Yeah. In the space of we're getting him one attack off, he could get off like five. I suppose if he goes like a later... Actually, I don't think he'll go BKB at this point. No, I don't think so. No. I mean, Overgrowth just shuts him down, right? All of as well. Oh, they actually see him right now. Can we get the jump off? Uh, Era not getting the movement speed. Maybe we should have walked back for a surge, but... In any case, Loda split pushing up top. Dyer's middle TP tower for is under attack. So Morphling's one of those carries that go six slots and you feel like he cannot lose a game? Dyer's I don't know, I think PA is pretty good is against attack. him. Well, when you have to worry Dyer's about Nyx like, consistently mana fortified. burning, mm. like that's a really big problem. It cuts Four. Morphling's survivability by a large portion. Era's, yeah, already getting out right quick. Yeah. It helps out when I got a crit, but hey, that's part of it here. S4 has got an Invis here, but there is a Sentry down yeah, the Fnatic, so he needs to be really careful about where he positions. Oh, they're dropping another Sentry. They see S4, here comes the Mana Leak. Hani's gonna be here as well, got relocated in. Ooh. They even dunk him. They're just like, yep, you did. Roshan is just confused by that Fissure. And that actually will buy them a little bit more time for the split push up top, because uh, Loda says, you could get the Roshan, we'll get tier two. Mm, I don't know, I think Flank a TP, right? Doesn't he have a TP? Although I guess he wouldn't TP. No, he doesn't, no he doesn't have a TP, okay. I mean, TPing to him and then just getting... Well, you TP to the tier 3 and you blast. I suppose. Right? But I guess it's daytime, so you would yeah. be seen either way. EGM also has a Blink Dagger now, so his initiation is going to get much, much better. Are, is Aki going to go for Blink afterwards? I assume Dyer's so. Top tower oh, they found the replicate here. They really think... Oh, oh he just goes to it. All right, no Hold fear. here as well. They could actually just go for the kill on Hani, honestly. That was a really... Like, ballsy move. He's gonna be in trouble. He's dead, oh, right? Yeah, he's lit. super dead. Crit! Blink lit? Okay, no. sure. Yeah. Was he out of stats? No, he, I don't think he morphed at all. I think, yeah, I just don't think he morphed. Well, that was... And yeah, they cancelled TP, so that's a tier 2. Hmm. And almost BKB on this PA. I mean, if he had a shotgun, I would understand why he would, you know, do that. Maybe Even if he had a shotgun, it's like... The heroes that he saw, you can't kill EGM because he'd already stolen Morph, which means he has a ton of HP and no field. Yeah. You can't kill the tree, and you can't kill Loda. So, I don't know. Hmm. He's rushing Keeper Light and Fly. Oh, oh my god, my brain. Rushing eggs, you mean? Rushing eggs. Keeper Light, yeah. I'm kind of concerned about the Husker, though, because it's very quickly getting to the point where Lotus is going to purely Dyer's do more damage than him. Like, Arrow will be able to go on supports, but Arrow won't be able to deal with Loda. That's the thing. And even supports have great ways to lock him down between Telegram and Arrow has to be careful here. Yeah, Dyer's he's going to get Labrider, as you will call it. But no, it's going to be fighting. Meanwhile, on the background, oh. a two men are blind to life, making them miss. There's going to be a BKB activation overgrowth on the backline. Lota just critting everybody. No buyback from Fnatic just yet. Arrow on the backline trying to do whatever he can. It's gonna get one kill on the Magnus, and that would be it. Two for one trade. Fnatic could actually maybe press down mid. RP is down. Aero needs damage oh. items, I think. Like, he needs to go, like, MKB, and then he needs to go, like, attack speed, like, maybe Double Assault Curious or something. Correct me if, wrong, if I'm wrong, though. Isn't Burning Spear a big part of your damage? It is a big part of your damage, but... More in the mid game, though. The like... thing is, you have to land your attacks for Burning Spear to work. Okay, well... All right. Ages. That's a DD. 
Are they going to go back for more? In fact, they will. It's going to be going on No Tail. No Tail's oh. going to get the chance and Fissure off and the dump. No. They want Lota dead. It's going to be a two man kill. Lota. Stolen a spell from EGM. Oh. Wait for him coming in. Well, are they actually going to get a single kill? They're not really focusing on it. Oh, that's going to come through. That's one crit. He's looking for a second vacuum, keeping him in place. Lota, what the fuck is going on? Meanwhile, on the back line, Agnes on the run. Do they have enough to actually keep the cancel the TP? They don't. He's out of there. Oh, he had adaptive, but. There is. He was on high ground. That's what I would be saying. That's what it feels like, you know? Mm. When you play against a PA, it always seems like they always crit you on the first hit. Yeah. And then when you play PA, you never crit at all. They always have DD. Yeah. <laughs> they always have a DD. Well, and uh, Lord of the Time didn't BKB and dispel his team. DD. No, that was Envy. Yeah, I know. I just. Every chance I get, you know, I gotta, I gotta flame him. Yeah. So cool. So, I'm not sure exactly what the idea is for buying a second ultimate on Hani. Scotty. Dyer's bottom tower you think is under attack. It's a good idea to finish Scotty here and today. The max I think you can finish. Holy it, crap. It could be. Oh because man. That's four. Alright, he's got blank. Kind of controls Five. PA a tiny bit. If you land an attack, yeah. yeah. <laughs> controls him. Half but you saw how hard it was to kill him. Like, he got dunked in tower range. Yeah. And the tower did no damage to him. He got living armored, and then he just walked away. Which is another important thing to note, oh. too, here is tree armor supplements PA very well. Like, in terms of having early game survivability. Because the hits that you don't evade cut by a very large amount of damage. Yeah. So the synergy between the heroes is really nice in terms of keeping yourself alive. You basically get 12 charges of this. It's also surprising that Era is not leaving his burn spear on. It goes through BKB, right? No, it's magic. Huh. Pretty sure it's not magic. It is magic. It's magic. Yeah. Fire is magic. Hmm. Except Klinks is not magic. Yeah, Kl Klinks actually is so magic. So fire is not magic. Yeah, that's a good point. All right. But his is the only orb that goes through Wasn't BKB. Wasn't that HP removal for? Because Glaive doesn't go through like a uh, Glaive's of Wisdom doesn't go through BKB orb. Yeah, Odin that was a, a specifically changed thing. Yeah, to yeah. Make yeah, it yeah. More viable. Which I thought was crazy because Klinks already did an insane amount of damage. It's like ah, just make searing arrows go through it. It's fine. I mean, I think it makes sense. Why not make Huskar also go through BKB? Because it's fire! Fortified. What? Yeah, that what makes no clean. sense. It's magic immunity. Fire is magic. It makes sense in my head, man. And sucking all the people into a small area and covering them with trees isn't magic. It's not magic. Okay. Trees are a physical entity, man. It's nature. Like Pokemon. Oh, fire isn't nature? <laughs> Fuck off. I don't know, dude. Nobody knows what's going on anymore. Alright, so... It's at that stage in the game where Lotus Midas is uh, starting to get him a little bit ahead in the net worth, and he's quite farmed right now. The demon edge most... Oh, okay. oh, no tail! They're gonna try to burst no, him down. This is BKB bad. gets no. activated. Era lifted, look at two crits in a row, and he's still alive somehow. I, I don't know how, but he's actually live throwing back. He gets overgrowth. He's not attacking us alive. It's Era. He's invading the hits. He's live throwing back. He wants one oh, RP. He's, he's gonna come through. It's a three man RP. Era's still alive. Can he reach it? Yes, he will. He's bringing Prometheus into this god of fire, whatever he's doing. Why? Jordan dumps into it. What, what is going on? The hell, man? Whew. Lotus, like, he's dead this time. Oh no, I, I gotta hit him. Already he's dead. All right, no, he's alive. Already he's dead. Okay, we lost. Okay, so. No Fly, Fly will raise your 50% evasion with blinding light at 80%. Where are you at? Dude, that was insane. I can't believe he did that. I cannot die. believe a Rax will be decided by RNGs right here. And he didn't crit at all. Like, literally no crit. No, he did. He crit twice. Yeah, yeah when he was in, he was very close to hitting him. He just wasn't crit at all. Yeah, the second time he went in, he wasn't. But I think he was Radiant's assuming that Arrow was going to die to, like, the next auto attack. So he was yeah, I got. Oh, you think that he didn't kill him. The dunk's going to come down inside. He stopped the dunk with a skewer? Okay. Radiance right, he's barracks are under attack. Okay. Fine, right? Because um, he's apparently yeah, he's fine. He's fine. I think he turns here. Yeah, no? I think so too. You have to stand back. Okay. Crap's gonna go for okay, the. Okay, yeah. There's a tier two actually. <laughs> Never mind. They haven't got the racks though because of that chase. I think that was a mistake for the rest of the team to chase along with him. That could be the mailer axe. That's a big deal. I like how you just casually drop Prometheus in the middle of I that. I has got a fire, right? He's <laughs> throwing it out. Yeah, that was good. Okay. Bruno approves. <laughs> also, By the way, Honey is like massively under farmed. I mean, I guess he's got like a, almost a full Scotty and a Courier, right? Yeah, okay. There we go. Now it looks a little bit better. Still under farmed. Still under farmed, yeah, but. 
And uh, Era, to me, also a bit underformed. Or perhaps the item choice might not be too good, but... Can no, he's, even... got, he's got an AC. Oh, does he? Yeah. On the courier? Okay. Yeah, Never mind. Then. Hyper stun. No, he is farmed. Like, Lota's got more farm than him, but... Apparently, he is not killable. So... I, I, okay, real fast, I just don't appreciate the AC choice. Can we just get Heaven's Outwork and, you know, RNG it up more? I like AC in the situation. I mean, it's a better item. Their I team isn't that. amazing for cracking the base until Morphling gets more farm, right? So having an AC helps. The plus five armor additive to the whole team when the PA is the primary damage output at this stage in the game, I think it's a really good choice. And plus, Husker, he's one of those heroes where once you get more farm, you actually drop lower health less. So you don't get the attacks we benefit from Berserker's blood as frequently, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So having an AC at this point in the game is actually a little bit better. Yep. Why does he not upgrade his boots? Surely treads or <laughs> face boots. Food. Gotta go for that value. Who needs POTs? to upgrade their boots? I mean, you already get the attack speed from when you can't die. Radiant's why do you need to upgrade boots? For a call. That sounds as logical as Radiant's fire being magic. Has magic. It's just not much. Whatever, man. Freaking wizard. I'm just speaking from from Volvo's perspective. I mean, what's magic about a tree? You animate. It fucking walks around and talks. Not to living <laughs> objects to walk okay, and talk. Okay, that's Not magic. <laughs> Whatever, man. It's fine. Radiance bottom tower Radiance is under attack. All right, mid lane. Here comes a little bit of base defense. I mean, that... look at how close together they are. They're just like, <laughs> just like they cuddle together for more. That's for more. We'll care because he's uh, right like pretty oh, hard. He's got more meat. He's, he's got faith more, right? No, he's dead. Oh, he's oh, fine. Maybe not, maybe not. Oh. He's fine. He's got that replica. RP's down. You go for high ground. In fact, they are going for high ground. I think Fools. Dyer's middle and of course, uh, now attack. with Axe Scepter up, we got to have Perma ultimate on. If Arrow wasn't already hard enough to kill. Yeah, yeah. He, has, he has healing on the background. What a dodge. Dyer's and I agree he's going to get healed up. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Where are you at? Mana burn. Arrow says, I don't care. Tower's Radiant's dead. Bottom tower Thorax will be dead too. AC, doing some work. I kind of like the way I don't heal in daytime. It kind of adds a bit to it. So okay, it's nighttime now. Yeah, the healing's Dude, gone. Push finished. Go home, boys. Nah, they're not going home. They're going, they're going hard. Oh, that's right. We're not going to Ooh, the tank on the background here. The wall on top of that. The Marsha back in wall stone. Overgrowth on the background. Where's Hera in the middle of this? I mean, he's in the middle of it. That's literally where he is. Trixie gonna get daggered once again. Still gonna be able to search away Era. And Fighting Shame still doesn't have Satanic. No tail, he's back. He bought out. He wants to continue fighting this. They're just going ham on the melee racks right now. EGM teleports in. They want to go for Era. Era turns around. Mando, he gets one crit. But Era's just man fighting. All right, not this time. Almost. Oh, the blink. Immediate crit on the fly. The blind, it does nothing. The second auto tech goes through. Gem on deck. Bulldog's gonna drop the stolen fissure and another crit from Loda. It's a triple kill. Kill, give that man attack. an MKB because he's got the money. Yeah, he needs MKB now uh, against Blinding Light. 80% mischance. I think he just bought it. Yeah, yeah, he did, yeah. yeah. At the same time, Huskar also needs an MKB. Or do you think he needs BKB? Huskar? I don't think he needs BKB. He's getting so locked down such that sometimes this. He didn't get locked down. He was hitting the whole well, time. Okay, he was hitting there, but I think that was more so the mistake of Alliance support not reserving his time when his Satanic is on. Well, yeah, I suppose. But. Even if that's the case, you can still wait it out, right? Yeah. Like, you have to be really patient, sure, but you can do it. Here comes the Roshan attempt, and they're gonna... They're gonna kill him very fast. They will. Uh, well, it attack. depends if flies here attack. with the blinding light. No, he's a base, man. What is that, 1.5k crit? Yeah, 1.5. That's I mean, not bad. Roshan is pretty easy. Yeah, they're not gonna get there in time. <laughs> yeah. It's like, in some universe, maybe, they're actually gonna deny the tier 2. Double TPing and then deny. Well, they don't have Echo or anything either, so it would've been really hard to fight Dyer's in that position. Middle yep. tower has and been now denied. Loda with the Aegis. I don't think she'll die twice. Given the fact that 50% evasion, BKB well, and all that. It's gonna be one of those scenarios where you basically have to ignore Loda, which is a big problem, because when you have to ignore the highest damage dealer, because they have an Aegis, yeah. they kill you it's Mucho. really bad. Yeah. Like, Having an Aegis on PA who has some farm is one of the scarier heroes. It's the same kind of ideology as a Storm having an Aegis because they use it incredibly well. They have high mobility, they can continually go for targets after they die. Like they come back, full HP, blink in again, dagger somebody, kill another hero. So it's one of the better Aegis carriers in my opinion. EGM always has so much gold. I don't know. Yeah. Well there's been a lot of fighting this game and he's only died like four times. So. I mean, it feels like a lot to die four times, but when you're playing against a Husker as a Rubik, only having four deaths is pretty good. Husker and a Blink Shaker who could, you know, catch yeah, you out from anywhere. Out, yeah. 
Any thought on Hanin skipping the uh, Ethereal Blade route? I feel like EB might be pretty good, at least in saving your allies. Yeah, I think getting rid of the BKB by just E-blading whoever he blinks on is really good. But you can't always assume that Lotus gonna just BKB straight up, you know? Especially yeah. now that he has an Aegis. I think you would have to E-blade even before the BKB. And then if you E-Blade him, he just BKBs the E-Blade. So you, it's kind of like a catch-22, right? I feel like even if you just E-Blade uh, Loda at the start of the fight, perhaps, I'm not talking about right now at this moment, but perhaps if he got it as a first item, I think PA has low enough strength growth where you kind of force him to BKB. Does that make sense? Yeah. I guess at the same time, there is healing through Leech Seed and Overgrowth. Or sorry, Leech Seed and... Uh, so perhaps that makes it be, uh, the, the, the Dira Blade less effective. I really like the Meth from though. It's kind of cool. And Lowe's got a Satanic now as well. I don't think he's dying anymore. I don't think so either. I think he has just become the unkillable. Well, I feel like Fnatic needs an MKB and perhaps a Hex. Then they could deal with him. Yeah, and speaking of Hex, uh, two huge items. EGM has one almost completed. Yeah. It's a thousand gold. Well, I was going for a hex as well, but he's much farther away. We have the same argument again, though, with the Aghanims on certain support heroes over the Well, decks. Lich Aghanims is, in my opinion, much worse than Aghanims Coddle. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think in that last fight, he uh, was there a buyback and then an immediate relocate. Or recall, excuse me. Yeah, he got, No Tail got recalled in. Like, okay. he bought out because he went in, got, um, I think, stuck in a wall that was stolen from EGM or something like that, and kind of just died, and then came back straight away. And it did Dyer's get him the melee racks. So, yeah. It was fine, I think, Dyer's to do that. I feel like that early racks, the early melee racks on the top lane that they did not get because they were chasing uh, with Era. Because Era dived like. Yeah, I think it's costing them. Perhaps yeah. this game, if, if it uh, aligns, wins. I think actually Fnatic being a racks up. They're still not ahead. No. Like, they needed I, to be two racks up. I feel at this stage in the game, with how farmed Loda is, that they're going to get to a point where the Husker is not going to be able to outcarry this hero, like in any sense. I think it's already reached that point. Yeah, probably. I think with the Aegis for sure. He needs what, like 2k gold and he has MKB? And then he can kill her. Normally, yeah. in, in kind of these carry versus carry situations, if you have the weaker carry, one thing that you can do is drag the game out long. So long such you say that, all right, we're both six stacked instead of uh, you being uh, six slotted versus me being four slotted. Well, I'm well he's not a full item ahead in net worth. He's like 2,800 gold ahead of him, which isn't a full item at this stage. Right, so. but the, the point is, PA is one of those heroes that it doesn't matter how many items you have, if she blinks in and gets a lucky crit, you're just down a hero. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. like also, late game it favors her so much more. Also, lines have more setup for her as well, like more lockdown. Yeah, I mean the hex. Once the hex is gonna come out, we're gonna see blink hex from Rubik, most likely with a fissure on top as well. I think he has it, doesn't he? Yeah, Close. Sure. yeah. Depends if he's safe or buyback. Looks like he won't. Yeah, he's keep going all in. EGM knows no fear. It's an interesting like uh, case study to say that EGM has this amount of farm, and instead of Scepter, which is an excellent upgrade for him, he's going for you know. A lot more utility based. It's good though. I mean, the Hex is, in this case, if they kill Era, they won the fight. Yeah. Like, easily. They Honey can... doesn't do enough. Like, he's got almost an MKB himself, actually, which is good. So, actually, I take that back. Now that he actually almost has an MKB, he does something. Because Scotty MKB means that the PA is going to have a lot harder time, like, having full reign over the team fight in terms yeah. of being able to just go on somebody Pace. and be like, yeah, you're dead. Pace. Now it's going to be like, yeah, I'm Scotty, shit. And. BKB Fucking doesn't do anything. Snowballs. Yeah. I'm, I'm still just completely surprised that uh, Honey does not finish his Manta against Overgrowth. It just feels like it's a, such a free thing to do. Radiance well, bottom honestly, I think the MKB is better than a Manta here. Like, what is finishing the Manta? Oh, no, no, no. I, I agree you finished Manta. I just don't think the Scotty's very well placed. I think you go Manta, MKB, and then Scotty. Well, with I think the mentality that he's going with is he's not necessarily meant to have like high damage output or even be able to split push. It's just the ability to right click the PA and keep the PA from hitting his team. Okay, so like, allow Era to do the heavy lifting. You're gonna do that. All RP on two. EGM getting focused down here by Era. He's gonna get Hex to skewer on three. No Tail's actually gonna die. He didn't get the Echo. No Dark Seer wall either. Era is all on his own right now, trying to man fight the world, and he can't do it. Sticking out. out. Okay, this is where you just pray this that your morph link is split push. There's buybacks on uh, on Era. No tail does not have a buyback, 
and Darkseer does not have a buyback. So yeah. Era is the only one who can buy out. I mean, this is a perfect case to see whether Fly could defend and how well he can Dyer's defend. Oh, not against this. There's no way. No, he's actually going to get care based on. He needs to be uh -oh. careful. They're going to try to go for him. Okay, they're getting forced back. Tower is uh, taking a ton of damage. Remember, they could just lose one Rax because they are up Dyer's one Rax right now. There's a buyback from Era, but how much does that actually worth? They could go back for tier two as well. MKB will not help you hit towers. So uh, that's 80% miss chance. Rax is still alive. S4 is looking for a blink skewer. It looks like he won't find it. So with the era buyback, they will defend Rax, which is Radiant's not too bad. Cool. Honestly, like S4 won them that fight so hard. Like he got Trixie and No Tail with an RP. Wall wasn't dropped, Echo wasn't used. Like both those heroes die without ulting. That's that's literally fight one. But Bulldog stoned off to the RP as well, which is yeah. also pretty good. Radiant's middle tower Radiant's is under Such attack. Such good setup for a Nyx and Paladin. Yeah. RP it bringing everybody like on top of each other. They're going to try to pick PA, who has a BKB. What's her initial stun? I guess it's going to be Earthshaker chain stun, as well as Era dunking it. Yeah, it has to be a blink dunk, basically. They might they might catch Lota here. They're smoked they up. Will. They They're going to see him. BKB activated. No it's going to be dunk instant stun. And Hex on top of that. There's a dunk in from Era. Can um, they actually evade? Not during this. Hex Swarm. He's got buyout. He does, but forcing it out is a big deal in terms of slowing down his next item. They're going to try to push mid and force that buyout, but it has to be done quickly. They have to do this carefully, though, because if they try to go in and force a buyout and S4 ends up getting another good RP and they just end up getting team wiped, there's no buyback on Era. Yeah. Also, great play from S4. He's just going up top to prevent the great blue Grim from going in. I also think when you have a Keeper of Light on your team, getting a Bridge of Travel on your Morph lane just becomes that much more useful and just basically become the Rat Dota Lord yourself. You could argue you don't need it at all. True, yeah. With rel uh, Replicate as well as... As well as what you call it. Recall. Recall. The thing is, like, he Radiant's wants to go top right now and push that attack. way back, but he can't. And I don't think buyback will be forced because there's a tier 2 standing their way. Well, tower is a tower. Is Arrow? Is he closer to his KD? Does he have anything fallen. in the career? No. I don't think he does. He, he no. doesn't, no. He had to buy out, so Radiant's he's middle tower got four. Is under attack. The other thing, too, to keep in mind is that since the BKBs are getting to such a point where they're like four seconds, yeah. I think Fnatic having a four second BKB Dyer's is much worse than Alliance having attack. a four second BKB. Radiant's because it's not like Lotus getting purely under. disabled. Dyer's and S4 is just killing their base, by the way. Okay. Like casually Dyer's just gonna pop the BKB, forces fire. a glyph. Era can still dunk. Duh. There we go, damage is done. S4 actually gonna die here. But he does have buyout as well, so. I mean, having your Magnus buyback instead of the. PA, if necessary, is already a good Yeah, play. him dying there is actually yeah. not a big deal. And getting a Rax out of that is like, all right. He forced the Glyph, which means that the next time they take a team fight, Loda has bots. So if there's ever a lane that's pushed in and Alliance win the fight, since there's no Glyph, he can just go kill a Rax on his own. Okay, how about this, though? If you look at the Roshan timer, it's going to be up essentially the same time that Magnus is going to be up. What's that? I mean, if Fnatic goes for the Roshan after getting a second for another smoke. They yeah. want Loda. If they actually get the pick here, they win the game, oh, right? But I think no, Alliance are actually going to be ready for this oh, one. Oh, they haven't used it. That's right. No, he still has Bobo. Okay, it's going to be Nyx Assassin to have disability. Oh. Where's the Hex? Oh, he BKBs and it's going to be Trixie on the run. run. It's a waste of BKB, though, unless they kill Trixie. Yeah, All right, they kill Trixie. Oh. You get the crit off. Meanwhile, Arrow on the back lane. Dunk's going to come in. Loda's complete trap, but not for long because he's got Blink Strike. He's looking for No Tail. No Tail. Stay in the trees. One grit. There's a Dunk the coming from Arrow. They're going to have to disable him. Two carries. Hitting each other. One crit goes off. The second in chat no, no, Take it, Era. Well, they get everybody. How the hell does support all die in the background? Alliance all dead. Morphling, Husker. man. Husker Morphling and, and Husker. Husker were just pooping on him. Okay, so there is buyback from oh, buyback tab. Let's go. Yeah, there are buybacks. Iloda can buy back. S4 actually cannot buy back. He's alive. Holy yeah, crap. He, yeah, I mean, he bought out. He really so like, he bought out, but I don't understand why he bought out. Oh my god. Oh, they're not gonna go for it. They're gonna go for Roshan. Yeah, they can't contest. Like, and Roshan's not up though. <laughs> but he's gonna be up very soon, right? Yeah. Okay, so who do you give the Aegis? Era, right? Yeah, I, I think Era is probably the best choice. He has MKB now as well. It's huge. Yeah. I feel like Alliance has dodged so many bullets. That was still really bad. Like, you lose Loda two times, basically, in a row. You force the buyback. Oh, no, no. No, Loda. No, Loda, no. Loda, okay. no. No. Okay, Loda being away oh, from his team. That's uh. Okay, he still has buyback. He still just has go buyback. Base. No, 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 don't he rush that. Just, just go back. base. Oh, he, he just went back. Yeah, he's dead for 100 seconds. He bought out.
So that's Rax down, boys. Yeah, maybe GG. Because the thing is, if Loda was oh, alive and it was oh. a 45, maybe. Bulldog, gonna have to use his Vendetta here. But if Loda's alive and it's a 4 on 5 and S4 and Loda are both there, they maybe could defend. But if Loda's dead, Dyer's and they have RP, their RP attack. doesn't do anything. Yeah. I mean, well, right now, this Radic is doing the next attack. best thing, which is pushing the wave. But we do have Hani coming back in. Kima, they have constant Radiant's relocate, so... Mm. A recall, excuse me, they have the perfect... No Tails here with an invis. No Tails here with an invis. He doesn't have dunk, though. Okay. He's gonna get a fissure. No Tails goes in. Stuns on Ake. Me time in the base. They're gonna be able to find Bulldog. They're just going for dives right now. Ake is actually almost gonna go down here. Please, he's gonna have back to base. They can't rat it. No, they yeah. can't. No, they're gonna get the top rats to run. No, Fnatic's getting top rats is what I'm calling for. In fact, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they already have the base open. They have creeps in the base, so there's no backdoor regen. Era needs to lose more HP, please. Get more quicker attack. <laughs> Uh, and they are going to get it, of course. I think they're going to get it. Axe after Caldo in this case is perfect. Radiance top yeah, they has has fallen. Just end the game. Has fallen. Between Dyer's Morphling having Replicate and Caldo being able to pull you everywhere, you can't rat the team. Like, yeah. it's it's unratable. Radiance that could be Megas, guys. It is going to be Megas. Yeah, P is still 90 Radiance seconds. Flaming forward, S4. Attack. Yeah, they drop the wall as well. No still comes in. S4 gets the BKB. It's an RP and a vacuum actually on four. But they're basically Radiance just trying to hold the line right now. You need to go for Megas. Lotus is going to be up in five seconds. Radiance Their damage output at this stage is so high, though. That's yeah. Megas. They get Megas. They can just run out, and I think they just get away. Okay. As, as we see Fnatic backing off, and I don't think there's going to be any chase from Alliance, is... Can this lineup feasibly beat Megas? Yeah. yeah. Empowered PA can tank Megas forever. Okay, so... Holy crap, Ammo Bulldog's going forward on, on the back line. It's gonna be EGM. Oh, he gets a hex off. He has a lift to follow He's gonna up. die. And PA's coming in hot. It's gonna be Blitz Strike. Can he get the crits off? Satanic oh. is popping up. He's trying to man fight this, but they PA say, will oh, definitely win this. <laughs> well, at, at the very least, he's giving him, his team enough time to get out of there. A big crit will finish him off. And I think if you're Fnatic, you just hold this one push. He's got bio. Yeah. He's got bio. Still a spoiler. Oh, Trixie's about to This rat. is the all-in, though. And they, are, they don't have RP. Yeah, Trixie's Radiant's ratting on the back side, on the bottom line. Attack. He's surging in. He's got the recall. They got blinding light and, and illuminate. Yes, and Fisher. Hot. No Tail's going to block the creep wave, right? He's going to block yeah, the lane. Yeah, he's going to Fisher. Okay. So much for your push. Well. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's going to dagger Dyer's forward. Middle tower. Yeah. Let me in. Well, Ake TP'd back, so there's no Dyer's overgrowth, which means that if Arrow wants to, he can just buy out and they can fight this. And they're gonna see, like, Ake in the base. Oh, they're just gonna go for a blink dunk, it's on two! Loda's gonna be able to get the BKB, but the Scotty MPB auto attacks from Hani just are too much. He's gonna bump the Satanic, though! He's doing quite a bit of damage, No Tail gonna get another enchant. There's the blinding light, a blink forward again! Right, oh, never mind. Oh, he just died instantly. Loda down, Bulldog down as well. It's three down on the side of Alliance, they are Megan, Era bought out. And this looks to be the beginning of the end. EGM has a blink. He's trying to bait out the dunk, I think. Oh, no, it's yeah, not even up. He gets called. GG. What a victory from Fnatic. I mean, we, talk, we talked about how they were playing in style yesterday. Fnatic victory. Three peaks in a row on Loda finishing the game. That was so... Okay, so did Fnatic win the game or did Alliance lose the game? I think Alliance lost the Why game. Why did he go to the bottom room that time? What was? He the... did it twice in a row. Yeah, but what, the, the last Like, he time. went into the woods, got picked, went into the woods... Oh. Almost in the same exact spot, died again. But Bulldog was there. 